Wind power is to use of the wind energy to generate useful work. Historically, wind power was used by the sails, windmills and the windows, but today is the most used to generate electricity. This article deals only with the wind power for electricity generation. Today wind power is generated almost completely with wind turbines, generally grouped into the wind farms and connected to the electrical grid. In 2022, wind supplied over 2000 terawatts per hour of electricity, which was over 7% of the world electricity and about 2% of the world energy. With about 100 gigawatts added during 2021, mostly in China and the United States, Global installed wind power capacity exceeded 800 gigawatt to help meet the Paris Agreement goals to limit climate change. Analy says it should expand much faster, but over 1% of electricity generation per year. The construction process of a wind power station involves several key steps that culminate in the establishment of a fully operational and efficient facility. The first step is to identify a suitable location for a wind power station. This involves conducting a site assessment to determine the wind resource potential, land, availability, proximity to transmission lines, environmental impact and other relevant factors. A feasibility study is then carried out to assess the economic viability of the project. Wind turbine foundations are typically large and require solid footings to support the weight of the tower and the rotor. Common types of the foundation include monopile, gravity base and a tripod. These foundations are constructed using concrete and steel and often involve extensive on-site work. Once the site is finalized, the type of size of wind turbines are selected based on the wind resource assessment. Factors like a wind speed, turbulence and a tower high influence the turbine design. Engineering teams collaborate to create a layout that maximizes energy production while minimizing any potential risk. The construction process begins with the development of an on-site infrastructure. This includes building access roads to transport equipment and establishing a crane pad for turbine assembly. Additionally, the installation of the meteorological mast to collect wind data for validation may also be necessary.
turbine assembly and installation. The turbines are transported to the site in sections and assembled on site. Large cranes are utilized to lift the tower sections, nasal and a rotor into the place. Precise alignment and a secure fastening are crucial during the process to ensure the turbine's proper functioning and safety. Even under the most normal conditions, lifting turbine components, especially free blade assemblies with a diameter of about 140 to 180 meters in high wind resistance, is already a very complicated job. Not to mention the frequent and irregular effects of wind, the difficulty of navigating with wind ropes in a complex terrain. This crane installation has never been an easy job. In addition to hosting and installing the turbine in place, it is also very difficult to ensure strict technical quality requirements. Great interrogation. Wind turbines are being equipped with an advanced control system, then enable them to actively support the stability of the power grid. In practice, these great friendly turbines can interact with the grid and actively respond to grid signals or specific grid conditions to regulate their power output accordingly. For example, they can provide frequent regulation services by ramping up down and the power output to help balance grid frequency. By providing grid support services, wind turbines contribute to a more stable and reliable grid operation. Grid-friendly turbines are typically equipped with communication interfaces that allow them to exchange information in real time with the grid operators. This communication facilitates coordination between the turbine's behavior 
and an overall great situation.